What is going on guys? Mr. WWE Report here to talk about some football and specifically the New York Giants who disappointingly lost to the Washington Redskins this past Sunday after uh, being 2-0. and Now a lot of talk has been toward Odell Beckham Jr. Now last week it was toward Odell and Josh Norman. There wasn't too much action. We saw Odell obviously burn Josh Norman and pick up a, and pick up a uh, big chunk of yardage on the uh, the stat book for the day. Odell went over 100 yards, I believe. I want to say 70, 80 of them were against Norman. I originally thought they all were against Norman, but Odell had a lot of good plays coming out of the slot where Josh Norman said he would not be covering him. Nonetheless, um, a lot of people are making fun of Odell because of the field goal, the field goal net. He hit it with his helmet and then it hit him back. Uh, maybe it's funny. It's irrelevant. Not. It, it's not even that funny, honestly. And then they showed him crying. They showed him yelling, hitting his head against the uh, the table there. And and people are saying that he needs to chill. Uh, why? Seeing Odell get like that, it, it shows his passion. Um, he might be angry, he might be disruptive to some players, McAdoo or some guys were saying. I I enjoy it. It's passion. Not too many people in the NFL, in life alone, and especially not on the Giants, um, it seems like they don't, just don't want to win. Like, I love the Giants, they're my team, and you see Eli Manning throw an interception, and he's he's like, like, dude, where's that anger? Where's that fire? And um, and when Odell has it, they're they're telling him to stop it. This is the NFL. He he's showing emotion. He wants to play football. He wants to win the game. I I wish I got it. I don't know why they're telling him to chill out. I don't I I don't know. Last time I checked football, you want to win. And you, you want to be passionate about what you love doing, and that's all he's doing. It's, I, I, wish I, I wish I understood why it, uh, why it was such a big deal um, around, the, uh, around the league, around the locker room. I, not too many people have that passion nowadays. Um, so, uh, respect to Odell, and I loved it. I mean, he did a lot. He did a lot, uh, a lot last year against the Bills. Um, and what does it do? It just makes him hungry. You saw after that, Eli gave him the ball a couple times, and what did Odell and Eli do? They went right down the field. Odell wants the ball. Odell wants to win. Odell has passion. You can't. You can't say that about many players, let alone people. So, I think it's just. I just. It's my opinion. I think it's ridiculous that that they're making such a big deal about it, saying that he's got to chill out. Um, you, I I don't get it. I don't know how that you want someone to change their personality and their want to win. I I wish I understood honestly, guys. Um, but I I don't in one in one bit. I mean, I know it could get him angry on the field, but. Did he do anything on the field this this past Sunday? No. I mean, if he if he attacked Norman, which um, Norman deserved every right to be attacked because of what Norman did, um, they showed it a couple times. He he wasn't that bad. I'll give him that. Um, now Weston Richburg, on the other hand, I mean, he did in the moment, but Odell did nothing like that. Odell didn't do what Michael Hunter did on the punt. Odell did nothing wrong on the field. Now, if he did, we, I would be talking about something different, possibly. Um, but he he didn't do one thing on the field, nothing, at all. So I, that's another thing. I mean, I could understand McAdoo saying he needs to chill out if he did something on the field, but he did not do anything on the field other than play some football and run right down the field against Washington's defense. Um I don't know. And then we saw Josh Norman on the podium laughing. I mean, the Redskins are 1-2. and two. There's really nothing to be laughing about. Odell, his so-called opponent that he was going to shut down, went over 100 yards. Another thing that uh, Norman shouldn't really be happy about, smiling about. But, hey, I don't get it. Um, all I know is Odell's passionate. He's showing his passion, and uh, and the people don't like that. So, who knows? Hopefully Odell continues that passion. Forgets what uh, what the people say. His own head coach told him to stop. 
I don't get it. Eli Manning was trying to calm him down. Eli Manning missed a couple strikes when Odell was wide open. That's why he was mad, probably. I'm a Giants fan, but I, I, I noticed their, their criticisms and their weaknesses along with their strengths. Eli Manning, 9 out of 10 times, snaps the ball and looks at one guy uh, rather than surveying the field, which separates the good from the bad. Eli Manning is not bad by any means. Eli Manning is probably one of the best quarterbacks in history. Yes, I said it. Um, definitely on the Giants. Um, Phil Simms, obviously, as well. Um, but the thing is with Eli Manning, I don't know if it's when he's... He's good under pressure, obviously, but when he snaps the ball, he just kind of looks down the field, usually a dump off to Vereen at the time, Jennings, when he was on the field healthy um, in the past, and he's just always done that. Um... Not that it's bad, not that we don't have the weapons. Um, the play where Odell was wide open, he cut it right down the field to down the middle to Sterling Shepard. Sterling Shepard did get the first down and then was hit helmet to helmet by Josh Norman. Odell was wide open on that. That probably got him mad because that would have been a touchdown, potentially sealing up the game, winning the game. But Eli missed that opportunity. That's probably why Odell was mad. It's like it's like um, Ben McAdoo. What if I... Uh, like, what if you got fired? Would you be mad? Like, that's like saying... It's a horrible analogy, but that's like... Doing something mean to Ben McAdoo and expecting him to giggle. It, it, it just doesn't make sense. You gotta be passionate. You gotta show that on the field. It's what makes you want to win. It's that drive. It's that hunger. And Odell has nothing less, nothing short of that... And the NFL wants to take that away. It, it's not even football anymore. Odell Beckham even said it in the uh, in the post game interview. He said he, he just wanted to play ball, and the referees told him if he did anything, he'd get thrown out. They probably said the same thing to Norman. But the physicality, like if you don't want players to touch each other, why wear shoulder pads? Why wear helmets? Like you, you can't hit anyone nowadays either. I mean. I understand the whole helmet to helmet concussion stuff, but you you can't even tackle a quarterback nowadays without having a flag. I mean, Olivier Vernon on the last drive got got stopped or got you know, penalized because of a, a late hit. If you can't be hit, why play football? I mean, we got people that are are pushed down and overreact to the max. I know they're trying to draw a flag. People don't want to get hit. I'm not playing football. So, I obviously don't understand the whole NFL playing in the game, obviously. I don't play. But I'm a fan. And I and I, the big hits, like in college, draws the fans. They love the hits. They love the big plays. And now it's all, it's all safety. I mean, don't get me wrong. Safety is a huge, huge part of... Of life, you don't want anyone to get hurt, but it's football. If you don't want to get pushed over, don't play football. I mean, there's hits obviously that 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 deserve a flag, ejections, whatever you want. But yeah, it it doesn't really make sense. And then and then getting mad at Odell for his for his for his fire his passion um i don't know that's my little rant had some time to talk to you guys about that um i really wish that uh i hope odell stays how he is hope he doesn't change people are always saying don't change for anyone but your own head coach is telling you to change i, I don't get it um so more people have to follow odell Rather than not follow Odell, Odell really, he's he's setting a standard, and I guess people don't want to follow it or recognize the hard work that he has, the dedication and the passion. So maybe if everyone around that, not only on the Giants, not only around the league, but in life as well, maybe then uh, things will be changing, people will be successful, and uh, people will be winning games. Let's go Giants! Let's get it.